Howdy folks, it's Kato again with another review of sorts. It's not Transformers related, but it is something that I am very excited about. Uh, you guys may know the Action Force line has been picked up by uh, Bobby Valla of Valaverse. If you haven't seen my interview with him, you can check that out right there at the link above. But recently, he made available the Prototype Weapons Pack and all four issues of the comic again. And I couldn't wait. I wanted to get them because I really wanted to get something in hand of this new line coming out. So when he offered the uh, Prototype Weapons up, I was excited to get them. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like the video. We're going to roll the intro and get started looking at the uh, Weapons Prototype Pack and a couple of the comic covers from Valiverse Action Force. It's Kato! And before we get started, I wanted to say a quick thank you to all my subscribers, uh, new and old, and a massive thank you to my current channel members if you're interested in becoming a channel member just click the join button and find out more information about that below this isn't going to be a review of the comics but i did want you guys to take a look at the comic covers i'm not going to open these i'd rather you guys get the comics and read them for yourself but i've read through all four they are fantastic wonderful stories and a great way to get to know the characters that you can get from valiverse but uh, here's cover number one, showing the swarm here. Really great artwork and great story. You got number two, great artwork there. Number three, oh, great character. Very cool. And number four that introduces the Sarge, Sergeant Slaughter. This is probably my favorite of the four books so far. So here's how the weapons come packed to you. You can see them all individually wrapped uh, or poly bagged in there, Ziploc bagged. Uh, you've got all sorts of weapons in there and I'm gonna go through them. You've got a nice little bio there. Looks like an email sent. You can read that if you wanna pause and check that out. But this is what I was most excited for because I really wanted to replace the weapons that came with um, the classified Joe stuff. So let's open it up and see what we got. So when you pop that bag open, you get a few different poly bags or Ziploc bags here. You've got the edge weapons, knives, sickles. Uh, I think there's a combat ax in there. I'll open all these up and check them out. Actually, let's go ahead and do that one at a time. So first up, we'll take a look at this gherkin. Nice serrated edge on one end, curved blade. Very cool real world blade love that one of your buoy or survival knives serrated at the top long heavy blade your combat axe looks very cool you can see the taped handle there down at the bottom now the prototype weapons are all black uh, the final results will be painted there you have your sickle that looks great your combat knife Nice and sleek. Looks very cool. Now we've got a bag of sidearms, pistols, I believe an MP7 in there. First up, you've got your Glock 17. At least that's what it looks like to me. Look how that's molded. Oh man. You can see the ejection port there. God, this looks so fantastic. Rail on the bottom. Here's your hand cannon revolver. See, who would carry that? Slaughter? I think I'll give that to Sergeant Slaughter when he comes out. If he doesn't already have one like it. Wow, that looks absolutely amazing. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure what this is a model of. You guys let me know in the comments if you know. I'm sure it's real because that's how they roll. But yeah, if you guys know what this one is a model of, let me know. One of my favorite sidearms of all time, a 1911. Not fun to clean, but sure is a good shooter. Desert Eagle, see the rail on the top and the bottom, that looks amazing. And of course your MP7 suppressed, I'm going to give that to Snake Eyes. 
that makes perfect sense for him. Look at that detail in there. That is brilliant. So with Snake Eyes here, let's get this this one out of his hand. And this is not bad. That, that was one of the better weapons that came with the set. But let's give him his a more legitimate MP7. That already looks better. Uh, let's see. Let's get his pistol out of here. Let's give him the 1911. Let's see if that fits in the holster. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That already looks better. Look at that. MP7. 1911 there in his holster drop his knife back in that already looks loads better and now with duke let's get his little nerf gun out of here get that thing gone uh let's give him let's give him the desert eagle let's see if that fits oh that's perfect that looks so much better with cobra trooper he had this little weird thing let's drop the uh let's drop the glock 17 in the back Look at that. God, that's awesome. Next up, we got the rifle, one of the rifle packs. All right, first up, let's take a look at the AK-47, one of the most common rifles in the world. That looks amazing. Look at that, all straight. That is perfect. Let's see, we got magazines. Look at that. Removable magazines. Let's drop that knuckles to wood, bring that magazine up oh man that looks amazing perfect for a cobra trooper i think it's an mp5 like an sd6 let's that's what i'm gonna go with there i could be wrong like an aim point scope sights look at that look at that rail on the bottom this is perfect this looks a little futuristic but it's a i think it's a chris vector look at that detail on there perfectly okay with these being all black pretty sure i'll give this to roadblock or gung-ho yeah i'll give it to gung-ho that's what i meant sawed off shotgun perfect for gung-ho we're gonna take this warp turd out of his hand and let's give him let's see if he can hold this very well can you hold the shotgun? Handle's a little weird. A little small sawed off shotgun for gung ho. That thing looks, that does look pretty small for him, but I think it kind of makes sense. For Scarlet, let's get this crossbow out of her hand. Let's give her the SD6. Will that fit in there all right? There we go. Yeah, we can give her the SD6. Why not? Straighten the camera up at three. How does that look? Much better? I think so. Cobra Trooper. There you go. No bad guys complete without an AK-47. Now let's step up to some more rifles here. What do we got? We got the M4 with an M203 grenade launcher. That looks amazing. I think that would be great for Beachhead. Let's get this out of here. Let's give Beachhead this bad mamma jamma here. Yeah, that looks loads better than the Nerf gun, doesn't it? I think right here we have a scar. Aim point sight for grip. Oh yeah. Let's not forget. Removable magazine. Look at that. That's awesome. What is this? This could be a 25. I can't tell. I'm a little rusty. We got another uh, interchangeable magazine there. Make sure that stays in. I love that the magazines are removable. Yeah, I think that's a 25 uh, adjustable stock. I could be wrong. Got to see the rail there. That looks amazing. I think that might be a good one for Duke. Let's give Duke that. 
Why not? Got the under barrel rail here or grip. Yeah, I like that a lot. A lot better. The last but not least, we've got our heavy weapons. It's one that I've been looking forward to the most, I think. Oh man, there's our 30 millimeter grenade launcher. I think if I'm not mistaken, the cylinder rotates. Look at that. That is awesome. That, my friend, needs to go to... Oh, let's give that to Gung Ho. Let's get this shotgun out of here. Put that aside. Let's give Gung Ho a nice, heavy grenade launcher. Oh. that's what I'm talking about here's one that I was really looking forward to the 48 saw comes with a bipod get in there bipod put the can on look at that that looks amazing for all I know I've got the can on backwards I don't know but it works Let's see, will it go the other way too? Yep. Look at that. Man, that looks amazing. Oh, and I know who needs to get this. I despise this gun that came with Roadblock. Get this thing out of here. Let's give him the saw. Yep, get in there. I'll put you back on later, magazine. Get in there, get in there, get in there. This is much, much better. There you go. Bipod. Rough fold that bipod up. Put his hand over there. I'm sure it can grip on there better, but his hand's pretty solid. Look at that. That is so much better than that futuristic Nerf gun nonsense. So there you have the whole crew with just a handful of the weapons from the weapon pack, and I cannot wait to put those horrible Joe weapons, the classified weapons in storage, and never ever touch them again. These look amazing. The build quality is fantastic. They feel strong and sturdy and solid. The sculpt is amazing. If this is any inclination of what we're gonna get with the figures in Valiverse, I am glad that I'm pretty much all in. I just ordered everyone except for some of the uh, army builders and I didn't get, an I got one of the weapon, weapon packs for the main line of Action Force, but not the other. And I may go back and get the backpacks because with all the magazines and everything that come in these packs. I believe the backpacks actually open up and are useful to store things. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to myself if you haven't already, then Sarda News by 82, Larkin's Lair, Inu Tabi, the other rejected cons. Guys, I'm trying to get 5,000 subscribers by TFCon 2021. Only you can help me do that. So if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. Kato!